I am Dr. Yutunde Reeves, the principal of Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. We are a school that has a, a legacy. When you mention Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School, people are excited. They name alumni, not just athletes, but judges and doctors and congressmen. Um, and so it's been really exciting to join a community that already has a legacy of greatness. We're just coming off um, celebrating another football championship. Um, I know we've gotten a lot of positive press about the number of students in this class of 2023 who are going on to Division I schools. Um, there are 12 young people that are going on to you know, major colleges, including Harvard. Um, and what we really want to make sure of is that not only are we known for our athletic abilities and our championships, but also what's happening in the classroom and really preparing young people for college. So while sports might be the draw in, we use that as like a beginning point for young people to think about. So what's our plan A, plan B, plan C? Also knowing that we expect our athletes, our scholar athletes to also thrive in the classroom. So we've built out our AP program. Many of our athletes are in AP classes, really thriving. And so it's been nice to be able to obviously build on their passions, but also make sure they're well prepared academically. So another um, popular feature of our school has always been our health career program. Um, we have three pathways, two are thriving, which would be our EMT program and our Project Lead the Way program, which support students who have aspirations to go into the medical profession. Young people are really acquiring really, really hands-on skills. Um, we also have had some emergencies in the building where EMT students have come and support a classmate or a peer who's in crisis. So I have been amazed to see that a student's having a seizure and here you have 10th graders know like what to do immediately without being nervous and anxious, but really having that, that instinct and that skill of how to respond to a person in crisis. We offer AP psychology, AP language, and AP literature. And I'm really excited that in a pandemic, we've been able to double those numbers. So next year we're offering an AP course in every content area. This year we're offering AP Spanish, which has been able to really provide a rich, rigorous experience. Our AP program is really thriving, it's growing. Um, we've had course selection night and many young people are asking about AP classes. They wanna take them, they wanna challenge themselves. And so when you have young people opting in to a really rigorous course of study, one that shows that school is on the right track, but our students are actually thinking about college and how to be well prepared for that next level of their career. What makes me really proud to be a leader in Baltimore, also a resident, is that I'm just seeing the fruits of our labor just pay out every day. I think sometimes in education, you don't see it immediately. You have to wait until a college graduation or a student comes back years later to say thank you. In a school that's actually a medium-sized school, it has a small school feel and that students are known, seen, recognized, heard, and loved, and supported academically. So I think for me, being able to maintain our community during the pandemic and grow our enrollment makes me really, really proud. I'm also excited that every day someone's calling wanting to transfer their student to Dunbar. So obviously the, the word is out that we're, I think, the best kept secret in, in town and that our young people are thriving academically. We're offering them things that they love and they're just having a really great experience. I think sometimes we don't give enough attention to young people just loving school. And so when my kids come in, they're happy, they wanna be here, attendance is going up. And I'm just excited that the things I envision for a school are playing out every day in my building.